Lovely, John, we just tricked you there. I've got to be reviewed, especially on the type of car. Oh. Uh, it's probably a heavy one. Uh, especially when I'm Oh, Jesus. Good afternoon people, it's PJT, Rate My Beer and the Pinny Girl. Right, <laughs> I'm brave. Anyway, firstly, a special thanks to Scott Nevin, who sent me down four bottles of this, and also a glass that my youngest, as I told you on the thing, is quite taken in with, because the brand is called West. Now, it's a Heidi Bison, and Heidi's looking rather radiant, if I may say. You would have seen this on the thumbnail, no doubt, in a way. Um, it's a Scottish brood. It's vegetarian and vegan friendly. As far as I know, it's unfiltered and unpasteurised. It's from www.westbeer.com in Glasgow. A lot of you will know them. Vegetarian, please. Yep, I already said. Um, mm. Proudly brewed in Glasgow in accordance to the German purity law 1516. The oldest food law in the world. This barbarian style wheat beer is a Hermitage to West founder Petra. Petra? Blimey. The founder was a woman. Oh, oh my God. Good girl. <laughs> and it's just like telling you about, quiet. yeah, it's definitely unfiltered. So, yeah. No, she wasn't called Heidi. She was called Petra. So, I don't know where Heidi came into it. No, I like Heidi. No. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Very good. Who's Heidi? I don't know. God knows. Right. Um, well, I don't know who she is. <laughs> You know, it's like, who the F is Alice? You know, who the F is Heidi? And it even says West on the bottle tops. So, let's get this pull. Let's pull this one first. Oh, look at that. Smoky yeah. out the top. And already, I don't know if you can see, you can, can't you? Yeah. There's there's still still there. yeah. This is, it could be interesting, this. And Scott speaks really highly of this. And one thing with Scott... Oh, that's nearly yeah. the top. Oh, don't, we don't, don't, don't. don't really need yeah. to have one. Will we? Well, I need the other one. No. Just do with this one. There you are. That'll do us. We'll keep that for something else. Yeah. Now, first thing I noticed about this is a lovely, wonderful colour. It's, it's got that real kind of apricot colour to it. Yeah. Looking lovely. Lovely and cloudy. Uh, yeah, nice. It does. I'll, to it. I'll tell you what, it looks better than what I thought. It looks promising, doesn't it? That's going to confuse people. So I've got a picture of a bottle with a lid on it. <laughs> and yet the glass. It's three quarters full, but that'll be enough for a review. Maybe we'll face, and face it off with something if it's anything, if it's any good. Um, well, I hope it is, or it better be for my sake, or for Scott's not going to be my friend. Oh, yeah, wow. I have heard good things about it from a couple of people. Really, really lovely fruit flavours coming through there. Um, apricot, banana. Oh, yeah. Mm. Smells all right, you know. A little bit of breadiness as well. Mm. The cloves are there. Mm. In there, isn't there, like, like a little spice? Coriander, maybe. Could well be. There's a bloody air in there. How does that work? <laughs> We've got dogs. You get dog hair everywhere. This grass was only clean. <laughs> I tell you what, look at the haziness on that. That is. It really is a very fabulous colour. I don't um, think the camera's actually doing it justice. Hopefully, yeah, you'll see <clears throat> better that side. Um, yeah. Obviously, it's a little head. That was probably my dodgy paw. But the reason I did that, because I thought... So you were topping out with the other I one. I thought yeah. I was filling it in with the other one, so I didn't really worry about the pour. It's only 330ml bottle. A little bit of graininess there. It must well. be like... It's weird. Huh? Like, Shut up! Sorry, do excuse him. Very unnecessary, isn't he? I mean, I've ever had a Scottish uh, Vison before from Overtime. And I'm telling you, that was decent. Mm. Predominantly, I'm picking up on cloves. Cloves, banana. 
a little bit of pepper. Pepper, yeah. So not what? as fruity on 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 the palate as what it is on the nose. It smelt more fruity than what it tastes. Yeah, I know, but it, 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 it's it's a proper Weizen beer. Ooh, ooh. You know, this is this is done properly. Let's not get away from this. This is this is that's decent. It's got quite a light carbonation going on there. The bubbles Creamy, are, are quite smooth. soft, and um, there is creaminess to it as well. Yeah. Do you know what? This ain't bad. Well done, Scott. I've been told about this mm. a number of years ago. Jesus. It's not one, it's another. It's very unnecessary. I should have shut the door, but never mind. <laughs> You'd get that with dogs. But I'll tell you what, that's half decent, isn't it? I think that's really nice. It's medium bodied. It feels quite a smooth, silky and velvety on the tongue. Um, and flavours are you getting there. There is quite a spiciness to it. 5.2 is a really good, you know, it's a really good. Um, four. Yeah. For, for a Weizen, because it's not too weak. You know, some of them when you've got, when you go too much under under five ish, they can become not so good. But a little bit watery. Not, not so much watery, just not not so flavoured. You know, not, not everything has to be big hitter. Not everyone wants a, a Weizen bowl. <laughs> I but know. Some of them, I know. Yeah. But some of them, yeah. <laughs> when you drop, you know, there's some of them we've had before in different places, when they've been like. The four percent. What was that one? Four percent, and it was nice, but there was no oomph. Yeah, it wasn't watery, but what was the one I'm talking about? I can't think of what it was. And the flavour was there, wasn't it? For four percent, they they done the flavouring, but it, it just didn't have a lot of yeah. kick. Yeah, it just didn't have that oomph. And this has got that oomph, definitely, hasn't it? This is decent. I'm 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 impressed with this. You know, they say the UK comp. Brew wise and beers, or certain people do. That's another one. So if you count count Hackney Church, if you count overtones, if you count these, and there is a wise and bocker on the way. By the way, a pineapple really special one. Wise and bocker. will not spoil the name. It's a special one because it was brewed by a special. Well, it was brewed in collab with a, a special person, and Michelle and Real Craftdale <laughs> and Hackney Church Brewing. It's and gonna it's be gonna be a cracker. Stuff. Trust me, it's, it's gonna be good. There is a there'd be something on the write up about this if anyone's free in London in about about a month's time, innit? And I will actually be officially dressed as a pineapple and pouring. God, it's all gonna be good fun. So, <laughs> where are we going on this? Do you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm I do, I do like that. I think it's decent. It's got a nice mouthfeel. There's um, a nice amount of flavour to the drink. It's really smooth, isn't it? This is good. This is good. Scott, well done, fella. Mm. You've done me proud there. Yeah, he did thank say, you for that. He did say, but, you know, I thought he'd had a few beers when he said, so I thought, you know, he's, he's a Scotsman. Do you know, I'm, um, I'm actually picking up on more banana the more I go through with that. Yeah. It's, it's really lovely. developing. It's a lovely ripe right banana, isn't it? Uh, as I'm drinking it and drinking a little bit more, that fruit flavour is developing. We're both on the same here. Yeah. Both for an eight. And that's a, I'll tell you what. That's a good strong eight. I don't know the price of it. Obviously, it'll be on West website. I didn't check because if I check, then I start reading the notes. And I always think sometimes you read things that you're not meant to read, as I've done so many times before. And I go and do a review, and then I'm not happy with what I said. And <laughs> especially if you've only got one bottle, it's done. Then you can't even redo it. And um, that's a good strong eight. Do you know that is decent. I think you could session that. Yeah, I think so. Yes, you could. I, I tell think you what. So. I'm not going to be funny, but it borders on Frankie for me. The not similarities, as fruit, not, as not as fruity as Frankie, but it's got the smooth, the silkiness, mm. the the yeah. creaminess. I tell you what, I'd, I'd do that alongside Frankie. Well, there we go. Still got a bottle left. Maybe we could drive side by side. Got two. Got one out there. Oh, you don't have one out there? Okay, no, no cool. three, sorry. That does. And you're right, you taste it again. She hit the nail on the head there, where she said, the more you're drinking, the more the, f the fruit, especially on the aftertaste, mm. is becoming more prominent. That is a decent beer. Yeah, the fruit flavours are developing um, a little bit stronger each time that I'm having another, another sip there. Mm. 
Yeah. That's good. Cool stuff. Definitely. Right. And while I'm here, I'm doing my unboxing on here, aren't I? Oh, you're going to do that now. Okay, cool. Yeah, rather than do another video, I'm doing one's editing, putting all these videos up. So today, I don't know when you'll see this video, hopefully tomorrow, but today we were at 360 Brewing. Yeah, um, we decided that we were going to do something a little bit different to break up our day today. So yep. we did a nice brewery tour, which was really informative. So this the is lovely guy there was really, really good, wasn't he, with all the information yeah. he gave. This is what's coming to the channel. These I didn't pick up today. Well, these are coming next. This is Squid Pro Q, a squid ink stout from our friends at Hackney Church squid Brewing. Pro yeah, don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, coming at 5.6% ABV. Um, the thing about this is it's brewed with Guinness, yep. who we met out in Lithuania. Lithuania and interviewed the head brewer. Yeah. Got really well with them. Great, great guy. Um, as I say, unfortunately, we were in Vietnam when they were in England. They probably came over when they knew we weren't there. That's just a rumor. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, and we've also got Donkey, the Hazy IPA, at 6.5% ABV. So they're the two That's that we picked stuff. up on Thursday. Now, to today's ones. There's a few from 360, which we did have the glass, and a few different ones. Uh, Manchester Marble Brewery, Temporary Traffic Lights, Pale Ale. A 500 mil can, which is interesting, mm. and it's coming in at 4.5% ABV. We've got, I'll only take out one of these. We've got 360 Brewing Company's Dream Life Bison Beer that's at 4.9% ABV. Um, we have tried this today, I won't spoil anything because. We'll, is, we'll do the review. We'll do a review of it. We'll do the review. It yeah. is somewhat interesting. Um, it's it's different. Let's just say, right. Um, we got this one because this is a farmhouse cider, a silly moo cider cider. It reminds in at me of our old Dalmatian. Four point two percent. It's got over the Rainbow Bridge. We used to call her Maddie Moo, and she was a bit of a silly moo. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, Three sixty Brewing Company again. This is Elderflower and Leiden Sour. And that's 4.7% ABV. Yeah, that's the other two drink cans there. And we have a few more here, which is, um, oh yeah, Salt and Turning Point Duet, Tangled Up in Blue. And that's a blueberry and mango sour, a stunning 8% ABV. Some good artwork going on there, suitable for vegans as well, which is always interesting. We know Turning Point and obviously we know Salt. I haven't tried that one, but we saw that in the tap room today, so we picked it up. We have Fish Hook New England IPA from 360 Brewing again, coming in at 6% ABV. We then have Folia Deuce Hazy Mountain IPA again from 360 Brewing and coming in at 6% ABV again. We then have the Sussex Page DD Pair, DD Paired Out, 4.5% ABV, and that's West Pier, in case anyone didn't yeah, know. Yeah, in case anyone was wondering. And we did try that as well today, actually we tried that. We tried mm. that, that, and that, didn't we? And then we've got, this was a, a duet, wasn't it? This done my head in this. I got confused with this, what the bloody hell it is. It's 360 Bruin and Shaw Shop. A lot of you all know them. It's Greek Nathan's foot, foot long yogurt hot dogs pale out. Oh my god. I did wonder what you were thinking when you picked up. Well, like, this looked different. <laughs> this definitely looks different. 4% ABV. I don't know what to expect from this. It's a hazy pal. It was a collaboration. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. That's definitely something different. Yogurt dog. And last but not least, we have Do That Trick from 360 Brewing, and that's a Hazy Pal at 4.2% ABV. So, that's going to be interesting. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be interesting. I don't know what I've done there. I should never leave her cheese in the beers. I really shouldn't. One day I'll learn. Mm. But yeah, it's something, it's something different. Um, obviously, as we said last year, we're trying to promote as many UK brewers as we can on the channel. 
think this is going there today, wasn't it? Yeah. Which was great, wasn't it? But yeah, what can I say? Um, thanks everyone for watching. What can I say? Yeah, bonjour. thank you for watching. See you next time. Bonjour, bonjour.